In this video, I will show you the installation of Arch Linux 2026 in VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. This is a step-by-step -step guide to installing the new Arch Linux on VirtualBox. Now watch this video until the end to avoid confusion. Now without further ado, let's get started. Since we are installing Arch Linux in a virtual box, you must have enabled hardware virtualization on your PC or laptop. Now by default, this feature is enabled and allows you to run and test any OS in a virtual environment. If it's not enabled, you need to check the BIOS setting and turn on hardware virtualization. Once it's enabled, you can verify the status by opening the Windows Task Manager, then select CPU and you can check the virtualization status. Before starting this video, I want to mention that we are going to install Arch Linux on top of Windows operating system running inside an isolated environment which has nothing to do with Windows 11. Additionally, on your Windows 11 computer, you need to have at least 50 GB of free space or higher. Now go ahead and open your favorite web browser and head over to this link and download the virtual box for your Windows PC. Then download the Oracle VirtualBox extension pack which supports RDB, disk encryption, NVMe, and PXE boot. Then download the Visual C++ dependency required for VirtualBox to run. Once it's done, Head over to this link and click on this button to download Arch Linux. At the time of recording this video, Arch Linux 2026 is the latest version. You can choose the default 64-bit ISO image and download. Once it's done downloading VirtualBox and Arch ISO image, Place them on your desktop for easier navigation. Now install Visual C++ dependency. Then go ahead and install VirtualBox by following the on-screen instructions. Once you're done, just go ahead and close the virtual box and install the extension pack. After installing virtual box, it's better to restart your computer so the VBox kernel driver can take effect. Before launching the virtual box, make sure the virtual box kernel driver is loaded. To check, open command prompt as administrator and type this command and press enter. If it's not running, use this command to start the VBox kernel driver. Now as you can see, this is the user interface of the virtual box. We're gonna go ahead and create a brand new virtual machine for Arch Linux. To do so, click on the new button, then go ahead and name the virtual machine. Now this is the folder location where all the VM files are stored. Then set the type as Linux, distribution and OS version as Arch Linux. Then click specify hardware and allocate the amount of RAM and CPU cores for the Arch Linux virtual machine. In my case, I'm going to use 10 GB of RAM and 4 CPU cores for best performance. Now make sure the slider stays within the green range. Then click on hard disk. Now allocate at least 30 GB of storage or more. Make sure you have a free space on the host. Then click finish. This is the summary of the virtual machine. To optimize performance, select the VM. Then click settings and switch to expert mode. In the general settings under advanced, 
set the shared clipboard to bidirectional to enable clipboard sharing between Windows 11 and Arch Linux. I'm not gonna enable drag and drop and I will leave it disabled. Now select display from the sidebar and increase the video memory to maximum. Disable 3D acceleration which may not work properly unless you have a recent NVIDIA or AMD GPU card. Now go to storage in the sidebar. Under the IDE controller, click empty. Then select DVD icon and choose a disk file and import the Arch Linux ISO image. Now let's configure network. You can use the default NAT, but if you want this virtual machine to be accessed from another computer on the same network, just go ahead and choose bridged adapter. This will give Arch Linux its own IP address, allowing remote access via SSH. If you're unsure, leave it as NAT. And that's it, we have configured the virtual machine. It's time to start the VM. To do so, click on the start button. Then click inside the virtual machine to begin installation. Now use the arrow keys to select Arch Install Media and press Enter to start the installer. Now keep in mind, when you click inside the virtual machine, the cursor is captured by the guest OS. To release, press the right control key on your keyboard to regain the control of the host OS. Before installing Arch Linux, the first thing to check is whether you have a stable internet connection. Ensure that your host computer or Windows 11 is connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Now go ahead and type this command to synchronize the package database. Now run the arch installer script by typing arch install and press enter. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options and enter key for selection. Then set the system language by selecting your option. Then choose your local. In my case, I'm going to leave the first three options at their default values. Then choose Disk Configuration, choose Partitioning, and use the Best Effort Partition Layout. Then select the Virtual Drive by pressing either the Space Bar or the Tab key. You will see an asterisk between the square brackets to indicate that the drive has been selected. Then choose the XD4 file system. Then leave LVM and Disk Encryption options, and make sure Swap is enabled. Next, select Bootloader as Grub, which works better. Then stick to default kernel. Then set the hostname as Arch Linux. Then set the password for the root user. Then create a new user account and add this user to the sudoers list for elevated privileges. Now scroll down and choose to confirm and exit. Now it's time to install the desktop environment. Select profile, type and choose desktop. You can also choose server or minimal edition. If your computer has limited system resources, it's recommended to choose the lightweight desktop environment such as XFCE, Mate or Cinnamon. Now in this case, I'm going with GNOME. 
Next, select the graphic drivers and choose to install VirtualBox drivers. Now choose the applications you want to use and set the audio server as PipeVar. After that, select Network Configuration and choose to use the Network Manager. And lastly, select your time zone to set the time on your system. Now go ahead and check all the options and haven't left anything blank. Once you have confirmed all the options, select install and wait for a few minutes for the script to perform its magic. Once it's done, you will see a prompt to perform post installation. Select yes to enter the chroot environment and start customizing your new Arch installation. It's time to install lightweight GUI applications like Firefox, VLC, LibreOffice, and some essential packages. Now exit from the chroot environment once it's done, shut down the virtual box by tapping this command. Then go to the virtual machine settings of Arch Linux. Choose storage. Select Arch ISO image and remove the drive. Now turn on the virtual machine to boot into Arch. And that's how you can quickly and easily install Arch Linux in just 5 minutes using the Arch install script on VirtualBox. It's time to install VirtualBox guest editions that will enable 3D acceleration, full screen support, clipboard sharing, and more functionalities. To do so, first open terminal or console and run this command to update your system. Then type this command to install kernel headers. Then restart the virtual machine. Now using the menu bar on the top, select Devices, choose Insert Guest Editions. Once it's mounted, open File Manager and you'll see a CD icon on this sidebar. Just go ahead and click on it and copy all files and paste them into the documents directory. Then right click and open console or terminal. We need to install this file to enable the extra features of the virtual box. To do so, first change the permissions to this file by running this command. Then type this command to execute the package. And that's it, guest edition support is added to Arch Virtual Machine. You can see it uses the full screen and voila, as you can see Arch Linux runs super smooth. If in case you decide to remove the Arch Linux, first turn off Virtual Machine. Then go to the main user interface of VirtualBox. 
From the sidebar, select Arch and right click and choose Remove and Delete All Files. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or queries, do post them. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.